Hi, I'm Monica Trasandes, and I'm the director of Spanish language and Latinx media at GLAD. I am so happy to introduce all of you to a short film called Bibi. Bibi is about a Mexican American lawyer who returns home after his father's death. In flashbacks, we meet that same man as a little boy just after his mother has died. He is clearly heartbroken. The father, pained by his little boy's grief, devises a way for the two of them to communicate. Later, when the young boy comes out as gay, when he, as a man, when he comes out as gay, their relationship and their way of communicating is tested. I cried twice, and it's a very short film. <laughs> Vivi has had the great honor of being selected as part of the Southern Poverty Law Center's Teaching Tolerance Program. That's an initiative and curriculum that now has been introduced to more than one million schools and educators nationwide, grades six to 12. You can see it too by visiting Teaching Tolerance Program of Southern uh, Poverty Law Center, which is tolerance.org backslash BB. I am so pleased today to interview the lead actress in BB, respected Academy Award nominated actress Adriana Barraza, and BB's director and co writer, Victor Duenas. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Monica. So the lead character in the film writes letters to his father when, he, when he's heartbroken, when he's having trouble, when he's being bullied at school, and the father answers him in letters. And that actually happened to our lead actor, J.M., who is also the co-producer and co-writer, correct? Of um, yes, I, I, as you said, um, our, lead our lead actor, J.M. Longoria, um, and co-writer of the project, who is also my partner, um, had an amazing relationship with his father where they would send letters to each other, you know, from a very young age. J.M. would write to his dad and say, hey, dad, how's, how are you? Leave it in a special place for his dad. And his dad would reply, hi, son, and put it in his teddy bear. Oh. And, you know, for the next, say, 15 years, they, tr they exchanged these letters to talk about things that were difficult, like Columbine, like coming out, like puberty, all these issues that are very difficult for men in general, but I feel like Latino men especially, we a lot of times don't allow ourselves to have these very intimate and, and, and heartfelt conversations. So the fact that he was able to do that through letters, when he told me that that's the kind of relationship we, he had with, with his dad, I told him, um, J.M., you know that that's not <laughs> common, right? And so that's why we started thinking about how we could create a film around the idea of a father and a son communicating through letters. Oh, that's great. I'm glad you did. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Adriana, en la película su rol es tan importante, es la voz de aceptación y de amor, lo cual es muy, muy importante para los jóvenes que son LGBTQ. Um, hoy en día, por la pandemia, muchos jóvenes que son lesbiana, gay, bisexual o trans, um, están en sus hogares, en hogares donde quizás no los aceptan, uh, incluso donde los rechazan. Eh, por su orientación o por su identidad de género y están sufriendo. En, en, en su vida, ¿ha tenido la oportunidad de apoyar a jóvenes o, o a personas de cualquier edad que son lesbianas, gay, bisexual o, o transgénero? Sí, desde que yo comencé a hacer teatro, mi grupo de teatro estaba compuesto básicamente por personas que eran gays, son gays. Algunos de ellos eh, murieron, algunos de ellos ya no están con nosotros, etcétera. Pero todos ellos fueron mi familia. Eh, lo que yo descubrí en ese grupo de teatro, Mónica, fue que todos, a todos nos faltaba amor. Y no importa la orientación sexual, no importaban los pensamientos, importaba que éramos un grupo de más o menos unos 10 eh, muchachos que en nuestra casa no encontrábamos esa, ese amor y esa compañía que necesitábamos. Entonces, eh, nos apoyábamos entre todos. Yo te puedo decir que hasta la fecha, mis amigos, después de casi 50 años, seguimos siendo amigos. Mi hija creció entre ellos. Cuando, yo, cuando mi hija llega a ir a, a Toluca, por ejemplo, pues es como si vieran a su sobrina porque nosotros estuvimos juntos. Agradecemos mucho que has participado en el pasado en Spirit Day. Eh, sí. Y están, gracias por ver si se demorado hoy. Eh, ¿Van a participar, no. me imagino, en, en Spirit Day el, el 15 de octubre, sí? Sí, <ríe> pues, Gracias. Claro que sí. Gracias. 
Eh, ¿Por qué lo has hecho en el pasado? ¿Es importante para ti? Creo que sí, pero quisiera Siempre. escucharlo. Es importante contribuir a la aceptación de las personas uh, gays, sí. lesbianas, bisexual y, o transgénero. Sí, es muy importante. Yo creo que si alguien como Víctor o como yo tiene la posibilidad de tener una voz pública, es necesario que lo que creemos de corazón y pensamos, hacerlo público. Tenemos que apoyar a, a nuestra comunidad LGBTQ. Tenemos que apoyar, apoyar, porque hemos vivido, hemos estado ahí. Entonces, con muchísimo amor, mira, portamos orgullosamente este color, que significa más que tener un color, por supuesto. Significa de verdad tener que dar voz, querer dar voz a quienes a veces no la tienen. Entonces, es un orgullo y es un deber, creo que, en lo particular eh, de mi persona. Victor, how did you get the great Adriana Barraza to oh do your fantastic film? <laughs> <laughs> One word, miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> Anyone out there who believes that, that the unimaginable is possible, here is proof that it is. Um, you know, thankfully, uh, I, I, I've been a fan of, of Adriana's work for many, many years. You know, I've grown up like you, watching her on, on the big screen and the small screen and just being enamored with the authenticity that she gives to every single role she does, she, she, she takes on. And because this film is specifically about being an authentic self, being your authentic self, uh, you know, it just seemed like it was, she was the perfect person for it. Um, again, we could dream big and we didn't think it would be possible, but fortunately one of, you know, our, our our executive producer and producer, Edward Enriquez Cohen, just happens to have an amazing relationship with, uh, and friendship with Adriana and was able to get the script to her. She, she really connected to the script. And uh, once we met through Zoom, like we're doing now, I, I mean, it just we just instantly kind of fell in love with each other. And so I'm, I'm just, every morning I pinch myself, really. I want to tell something, Monica. It's not only my fantastic and deeply friendship with uh, Edward. It's because the script is beautiful and the story is beautiful. And when I met this beautiful group, I said, I want to do this because I need to do this. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, It's at the perfect match, you know, when you discover a beautiful story, a beautiful character, and a beautiful person, and a beautiful goal to do one work. That is, oh, that's Thank lovely. you, Victor, for It's, your lovely words. Thank you. Let me ask you, actually, that's a, you brought up something interesting, a lovely goal. Um, we often talk about what we, the reason we do uh, participate so much in Spirit Day, GLAD is a big, you know, we, we work very hard on Spirit Day on getting messages of love and support from millions of people around the world to LGBTQ people by turning um, your social media purple, by sending tweets and dressing in purple and, and letting LGBTQ people know they're not alone. And one of the reasons we do it is that we want more people to take action to stop bullying. Right? We want them to do something, to, for teachers to do more, for parents to do more, to teach their kids who maybe are not LGBTQ, to stop bullying, to be an ally to LGBTQ kids, right? We have a, the goal is action so that less kids are suffering from bullying and leaving school early and, you know, all the different consequences of being bullied. Um, what would you like for people to take away from BB? How, what would you like them to do? Or is there something you'd like them to do or say or think after watching the film? Yeah, I mean, well, you know, one of the, I'm sorry, it's Victor. Sorry, that was for Adriana. Sorry. That was for oh, Adriana. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, I went ahead sorry, we can do it in Spanish too. Yeah. Lo hacemos en español también es igual, pero como estamos okay. hablando inglés, I thought we can just go for it. <laughs> eh, yo lo que quisiera es que cuando lo vean eh, grandes y chicos, adultos y jóvenes, tengan la posibilidad mutuamente, primero de exponer el tema, porque sabemos que en cualquier comunidad es difícil, pero si nos vamos a Latinoamérica, especialmente a México, es más difícil. En este momento es difícil tocar el tema de la orientación sexual de alguien o que alguien quiere estar diferente. Ya ni siquiera una orientación sexual, alguien quiere vestir diferente, es difícil. Entonces, mi, 
mi esperanza es que cuando la gente vea eh, eh, nuestro hermoso cortometraje, pase lo que ya nos ha pasado a Eduardo Enríquez y a mí cuando hemos ido a festivales, que al final vengan jóvenes y nos digan, me estoy sintiendo mal, no sé cómo hacerlo, encontré una solución, puedo hablar contigo y que si un adulto vea, vea que, por ejemplo, el papá tomó una decisión de cambiar, que existe una adulta como, un adulto como mi personaje que ayuda a un adulto a cambiar y que puede haber reconciliación. Esa es, eso sería, creo que mi, mi mayor satisfacción, que alguien, una sola persona que lo vea, adulto y chico, encuentre una solución para ser escuchado. Pues sí, qué, qué, qué importante lo que has dicho, es muy cierto, muy cierto. Porque la, yo siempre digo, con el amor de la familia, uno puede hacer cualquier cosa, cualquier sí. cosa. Con la aceptación y el amor de tu familia, puedes combatir todo el odio que el mundo te, te tire, puedes hacerlo, pero sin esa aceptación y sin ese amor familiar, la vida es tan difícil. Sí. Um, sí. Gracias por ese mensaje. Y para ti, Victor, what would you like people to uh, to do as a result? Is there any like action you would want them to take after seeing the film? Yeah, you know, um, first of all, I, I think one of the many blessings that we've had with this project is that we've had the incredible support, both financial and and otherwise, from Southern Poverty Law Center in um, having this be their uh, spotlight film for 2020 and making it available to about a million school teachers in America to show to classrooms from sixth grade through 12th and hopefully start those conversations where kids who feel hopeless, kids who feel that they can't, um, again, be their authentic self or share something very, um, very uh, personal about themselves with their family can maybe think of a different way of doing it. If it's too difficult to do it in person, you know, maybe a letter can be the way. Uh, what we want kids to come out feeling from this movie is that there is hope and that there is uh, a way to make life better for yourself. And we feel like if if you can't say it in person and you have to do it through a letter, one of the benefits of that is that it gives the recipient of the letter an opportunity to process. And, you know, a lot of times we in the moment say very mean things, very uh, inappropriate things, things that come out of our own experiences. Um, I say this because a lot of, you know, this, this is something that I have experienced through, I used to be a school teacher myself, and I'd always hear stories from my students saying, I told my parents this, that, or the other, and they yelled at me, they, you know, they got mad at me, they grounded me, and, you know, it, it wasn't always bad news, and it was just not what the parent was waiting to hear. So we feel like hopefully the movie sparks um, sort of a movement to, start letter writing again. You know, kids, uh, letters are these things that you guys do on social media, except you put it on paper. <laughs> you write it on paper. <laughs> would say, what's paper? We'll put a definition of paper underneath. Exactly. So that people can know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's kind of the, you know, the, that's the idea that we, we would like them to know. And even though our lead characters are a father and a son, you know, the other thing we want everyone to know that this is a story for fathers, sons, daughters, mothers, grandmothers, aunts, uncles, anyone who has someone in their life that they would like to reconnect with. Um, there is an opportunity, so long as we have breath, there's an opportunity to reconnect with somebody that maybe you didn't, you've kind of haven't had the closest relationship to. Because like you said, you know, I, I think life is hard enough If you don't have a family, it just makes it that much more difficult. And family doesn't always have to be blood. I am a big believer that family is who you create. But if you can have a good relationship with your blood family, that's awesome too. Yeah. I can't thank you enough for joining me today. 
Adriana oh. Barraza, Victor Duenas, I wish you so much luck with this project and with everything you do. And thank you so much yeah. for being here today and talking to us about Vivi. Muchísimas gracias por hablar, hablarnos hoy y compartir un tiempito con nosotros. Y les deseo mucha suerte y que les vaya muy bien. Gracias. Muchas gracias, Mónica. Muchas gracias. gracias. Y adelante, adelante, siempre con fuerza y con amor. Siempre. Exacto. Yeah, we're here for you. Yeah, uh, you know, young people of America, we're here for you. Know that we support you and we're we're doing what we can to create projects that help better your lives and everyone around you.